When I was getting my bachelor's and master's degrees in exercise science, I had a professor that did not believe that overtraining existed. And from what he had read and observed, he thought it didn't really exist, that it was nearly impossible to reach such a point of overtraining. And he just thought you, you can be really fatigued, but you're not actually overtrained. Well, what is rhabdomyolysis then? Because that's a significant event in your muscles from overtraining. And I've seen a couple cases of this flowing through uh, my Instagram feed uh, of different people who have experienced that. That's crazy. And a lot of times, you know, I'd heard about it before. Usually it was like CrossFitters maybe, or just people trying to do like crazy, like Murph, the Murph challenge on Memorial Day, um, different stuff like that. I've seen athletes come down with that, you know, over the internet. But I've seen some cases now of just regular people. Uh, this one post on Instagram was a lacrosse team. It was like a Navy SEAL took a lacrosse team through a workout and sent kids to the hospital. Today, Tufts University says it is investigating after a dozen players were injured during a 45-minute workout led by a Navy SEAL. The players have been treated for rhabdomyolysis, a potentially life-threatening condition that can cause muscles to actually disintegrate. Tonight, the final three teammates are now out of the hospital. The school has hired two independent investigators. And that's terrible okay this guy just because you're a navy seal doesn't mean you understand exercise at all and this navy seal coach is probably going to run around saying oh yeah i sent guys to the hospital i'm so tough my workouts are so tough that's how these coaches act and it's ridiculous because on one hand you have people thinking ah you can't overtrain nobody's ever overtrained and then you got guys like that where you're sending people to the hospital for rhabdo. Like, that's obviously overtraining. If you took it to the point that your muscles are breaking down into your bloodstream and creating a toxic environment in your body, your kidneys are being damaged. Not good, right? So, yes, overtraining does exist. I myself have overtrained once I'll say like officially once I was in college running cross country and I did in the span of nine days I did five really hard workouts and uh, after that just jogging hurt and jogging felt terrible and uh, I had to take like a week or two and just do super easy stuff um, and bike and whatever then I finally got somewhat back closer to normal, but I still didn't feel right. And uh, but anyway, that that's kind of my take. And then I started, you know, weight training and doing body weight exercise, and that I felt like got my body uh, heal and healed up better. I was also taking like cold showers and stuff. Anyway, that's my experience with overtraining. So to me, it is real. It happened to me. It wasn't rhabdo. It wasn't like training the muscle that hard it was it was running it was kind of more my heart um felt really weird and i do believe i have like a heart arrhythmia now from that occurrence if someone were to get my you know ekg or whatever but um yeah so anyway like i was saying rhabdo is a real thing overtraining is a real thing why don't the exercise scientists step up to the plate and let's get some serious recommendations for exercise this is the problem. You got people saying they're a coach, saying they're experienced, and they're out here getting people hurt and sent to the hospital. We need real standards for what exercise is, how hard you should do it, and volumes of how much you should do. So, you know, you don't get rhabdo, you don't get these other issues from doing one set to failure. You get it from doing multiple bouts over and over and over again and being completely untrained, right? That can that can definitely add to it as well. So, um, but either way, it's overtraining. It's doing way more than your body was able to uh, handle and recover from. So that's why it's important to start with the lowest possible volumes, one set, 
right? One set. And if it's working, stick with one set. Who cares if it's one set? Who cares? Are people offended that you do less training than them? You need to do what's right for you and push your body hard, but don't keep repeating that stress over and over. It's too much stress. You're adding stress to your body. And a lot of people in the gym are doing this. They're overtraining their bodies. And they'll find out in years to come. They'll find out, oh my goodness, my forearms, my hands are all wrecked, my shoulders, my knees, my hips. It's not the weights. They didn't, the weights didn't do it to you. It was you. It was your mindset when you went to the gym. It was how often you thought you had to go. How many sets you thought you had to do. It's up to you, but that's really the way it goes. You don't want to overtrain. Not only overtrain as in spend too much time training. So now you're wasting parts of your life that you could have used, you know, for other things being more productive. But I'm talking about overtraining as in it's impairing your health. It's a danger to your health. There's a such thing as being addicted to exercise. It's a real thing. And I think a lot more people have it than they, than they realize. And just the traditional person does not, uh, you know, if you're just going to go train and go to the gym and learn from the people around you and people that you think work out, you know, you're going to do what they do. And I'll tell you right now, I know what they do. I did it for years and everyone else is doing it. It's three sets of six to 12 reps and it's multiple exercises per body part and at least you know around twice a week frequency for everything that's basically in a nutshell what they're going to tell you to do so that's going to take you an hour a day six days a week to uh, accomplish that Um, but it's not worth it because if you train a muscle properly with resistance and you fatigue it in under two minutes very intensely without stopping you can be done you can call it a day on that muscle and on that exercise that's way more efficient and then now you have to rest multiple days to get back into it right this is how you get adaptations in the muscles of your body this is not a sport this is not a competition this is you in the gym getting adaptations in your muscles you're going to get increased muscle size you're going to get stronger by virtue of progressive overload if you're constantly adding a rep here adding a little bit of weight here and there that is progressive overload that is stronger your muscle getting bigger is a visual but on paper you're getting stronger you're able to produce more force than last time if you kept the weights the same and kept training really hard and you were adapting soon your sets would be taking two three four five minutes to complete you'd be doing you know 15 20 30 reps with it Right, so that's the point. If if you're lifting the same weight forever, you're not progressively overloading. Something needs to be getting better every time you step in the gym. That's the whole point of doing another workout. It's not to waste time. It's not just to stimulate the muscles. The muscles are trying to recover from the last time. If you let them recover, they can adapt and you can actually benefit and grow and get the adaptations to exercise. That's what you want. You want the adaptations to exercise. You don't want to just waste away your time moving your body. It's not about movement. It's about contracting your muscles. You can contract them very hard and get the results in far less time. Or you can do something really, really easy like walking or lifting tiny pink dumbbells and you'll have to do that forever and you still might never get the best results ever possible. So train hard track your training and start at the bottom and work your way up hey how do you know you need two sets have you ever done just one if one doesn't work okay then now you can try two or you can you know tweak how hard you're training that one set but you don't know you need two sets until you've already tried one (laughs) and if you try one and rest you know plenty of days come at it again i promise you you're gonna progress i promise you it's not 
it's not a, a waste of your time and you did plenty enough to stimulate your body for growth and for adaptations.